Alright, here we are with another video. Today's video is the ALS coil conversion. So right now we got the brackets in with the coils. I got the ends taped off because I'm slowly working on it. So, benitas, benitas. Next thing we're gonna do is put in, take all this out, take the flywheel off, and put in the reluctant plate. The 24 times. So now it has the four times. So we're gonna get to it. All right, here we are. I'm working on the wiring for the coils. Oh, we already got it all sorted out. They're both the same. The wiring, except one is a solid color, and the other ones are. Uh, same color but with the line going across it and the one with the line going across them are wired up to the well from looking at the engine the left side which will be the even number cylinders which will be two four six and eight these will hook up to it and the solid colors will hook up to the all number cylinders one three five seven so what I'm doing is I'm just looking for pin connectors to hook up to the PCM. This is, this is what I need. I'm gonna try to color match them the best I can. Like you see, it's brown with the white, green with the white. I'm gonna just look for it. But um, yeah. Let me start digging out, digging on this wire. This some of it. These are the connectors, so hopefully I can color match all of them. Soldering the wire, making them longer. Getting the coils ready. I'm gonna do the same for the pins. I got the pins right here, ready, lined up, color matched. Solder them in also, just like this. Just tape them up. It's gonna be a little process. Time consuming. Uh, like an hour, I'll say. Hopefully. First things first, what we're doing is I done took out the harmonic balancer, the water pump. Um, now I'm gonna take out the timing cover. We're now I'm draining the oil. So let's take this cover off. I got everything back here. Here's the new timing cover I'm gonna put. The reluctors over here, 24 times. If I can find it. One ta, man. Shoot, I swear, man, I'm always using stuff. Here it is. And the other stuff's right here. But let's get to it. Let's get to it. Uh, hopefully, I don't have an issue with the pan and this. But we'll see. All right. This is what we got to take off. The four. Looks like we take it off one. One, two, three, four. Twenty-four. Just popping in. All right, here we are. Got the reluctant plate in there. Pretty easy. I did have to loosen up the the oil pan. Uh, almost like three quarters of the way, get all the bolts out. I just had an impact. It was pretty easy to get. Just enough so I can put these flatheads under the under the pan, so I can have some slack to slide in the timing cover. So that's what I'm doing right now: silicone the timing cover, silicone that seal, because it is a common issue for them to leak from the timing cover on the bottom part. So we're gonna silicone that bow that hole up real quick and get it right. All right, we got everything in. Assemble the back, water pump, harmonic balancer with the pulley, put the belt back. Now I'm gonna just wire it up. This to the computer and these right here. I'm gonna cancel this existing coil and the control module, the ignition control module. There's two power and two negative. I'm gonna just hook these up to it basically. I'm gonna just get a power source and a negative source on the coils. That's what we're gonna do. Alright, next thing is putting the cap on the distributor. 
So basically, I just took off the rotor cap, the top. Here's the cap. And all you gotta do is hook it up on top. Um, they sent me this. But I'm gonna just keep my old one in there, so I won't have to struggle getting it lined up. I just swapped the sensor over, because this, this one looked brand new. Swapped it over, and I'm gonna just put the cap over it. And basically that's gonna be a big old fat cam sensor. It's gonna be reading the position of the cam. Yes, sir. All right, caps in. I think I'm gonna just put everything up, put the shroud on, put the oil back in, put a new filter. And tomorrow morning I'm gonna do the wiring. Right here is just installing the boots on my spark plugs. I got the MSD kit. Basically I'm just shortening them up. Here's all of them. Here's the old, there's the old ones. Is there like a? These are custom links in a way if you think about it. I just can't go to the auto parts, but it's the regular LS, cause the LS are a little slightly shorter. They're like half the size of this. But, yep, I'm working on the coils, and from there, not the coils, but the plug wires. What's up, boys? Try doing our crapping in other people's yards again. But look what we got, look what we got. The coils are in, wires are in. It's hooked up. Distributor capped. 24 times we looked, they're installed. Now it's time to wire. I already got the wiring already prepped up, ready. I already got to pop them in. And then some wiring back there. And we will be set. Swapping some injectors. Cause the the firing order is different. So I'm gonna just swap the injectors and that and that you cannot change in the tune. But alrighty. <laughs> I done pinned the, uh, hooked up the pins to the connectors, soldered in the tack, cause I didn't have enough uh, enough slack, so I just added added some slack. Here's the power negative to the coils. So usually the coil and the ignition control module each has their own 12 volts from the re from the fuse box. So each one got hooked up, and the negative there was a negative on the ignition control module which I hooked up to the two of the ignition coils. Each bracket has their own ground, each bracket also has their own 12 volt source. Here it is, here's the truck. Now this coils conversion is done. So let me go over over with you guys what I did, even though I did show you on the videos and what you need to get to do this. Basically, LS coils, I got LS2s, and with the bracket, I got the bracket that mounts to the valve covers. I got that from EFI Connections. They sell the brackets. Um, and you need a 24 times reluctant plate and a timing cover, which I put in there. A distributor cap and 0411 swap. And that's about it. Yeah, I dropped in the F body tune and the truck wasn't working. So I was just back to the drawing boards trying to figure out what is wrong. So uh, I figured out it, the truck wasn't even sparking at all. So it was two things. Either I wired something wrong or it's a tune. 
like I said, I checked the wiring and everything was good. I checked the tune, the tune was good. So I just decided to look at the pin connector on the crank sensor just to be safe. And guess what I found? The two connectors are different. Here's the LS connectors. They're the same. The connector the same, but the order they they like they are is different. So if you're looking at the connector for LS connector, the left one would be A, middle one would be B, the right one would be C. But I'm looking at from OBS, the same thing except the order is different. The left one C, middle B, right A. So what basically happened? I was wiring it like this, like the way the form was telling me. And since I get, I'm not sure how he got it running, but I wired it the way he told me it wasn't turning on. Then I went back to the sheet online, doing the online search. I looked at the LS format. Then I basically just pinned it out with the color the way that the form had it. And next thing you know, the truck turned on. So let's get a little turn on. So right now it's gonna turn on, it's gonna sound a little rough because there's no tune in it, it needs to be tuned. But right now I'm just showing you that it turns on. So this is stock F body tune. I didn't mess with it, I just dropped it in, changed the OS to F body so the 24 times we look to be working. And this is what we got. Turns on quick, but it sounds shitty. They sound like it's chopping, boy. Uh, it sounds like I have a fat cam in it. So yeah, it's gonna go to the tuner this week. Let's see if there's any difference. I'll keep you updated. It's the L3157 Vortec with the 0411 PCM swap and the LS coil conversion. Um, this setup is very reliable. First off, I'm gonna say. Um, I like it. I did have issues with the other setup with that one ignition coil going out after a while, so this has been very good. Um, I did change the wires. I ended up getting some some high temp um, plug wires. I got the ceramic 90 with the high temp wire with the insulation, so it should be able to hold withstand some heat because I had I got the short two headers and it's so close to the wires. And this is what happened to my last set of wires. Keep in mind, I can't buy these online. I gotta make them because they don't have the 90 degree boot. LS style. But this is what happened to them. They just got burned from the headers. And it wasn't for normal riding. It was from it being abused. But, hey, it still rode home. Still, I'll tell you, like I said, it was reliable. Even though it had like four, four wires burnt out of eight. And it still was riding like nothing, like... No skips or nothing, still had all the power there. But let's check over the parts that we took off in the truck. I'm gonna go over them with y'all. Here we are. This one got canceled uh, just doing the uh, LS conversion. The coil, ignition control module. This one I was talking about that mainly goes out. If this goes out, your truck has, is not gonna have spark. Uh, four times reluctor. And the top, the cap of the distributor and the rotor. Took that out, capped it off, and that's it. And of course, the black box PCM. That, I, don't, I don't even know where that's at, but those are the stuff that got removed from the truck that was original. But hey, I'm gonna check this out. I say the truck's like around, it's making around 300 to 350. Mid 300, low 300s horsepower, I'll say. But here's the next setup we're gonna get. We're trying to get a full hondo so that'll be on, on the next video so be on the lookout for that a few regulators terminal x fuel injectors these are 30 pounds at 43 psi so that's why i got the regulators the stock fuel pump on my truck pumps at 60 psi so i got plenty of room for more fuel flow but yeah let me show you a little startup on the truck mm -hmm. This is the start up with it tuned up. I got the new unit right here. That's what it's looking for. Hey, hey babe. They're here. Thank you. 
So here it is with the LS coils, the startup, and alright Emma. But she likes watching her TV shows on that. But let's go. Sounds pretty good. Go for a little test drive. We're done with the LS coil conversion on this. Everything is stock, stock intake, stock heads, so nothing's aftermarket. But now we're about to be, now we're gonna have an aftermarket intake. And I'm gonna keep the stock heads on this truck. So I think that'd be the limit. But with the other intake, I'm gonna have to do some custom plumbing with the fuel lines, custom wirings with the fuel injector connectors. I'm gonna tell you what else. And maybe the other sensors. So I'm gonna, I gotta, I'm gonna have to make all that fit. The AGR is gonna be deleted. So it's gonna be. I don't know how it's gonna run, to be honest. I can't find any information on it. And, and if any of y'all doing this setup, the LS Core conversion, and y'all stuck on on a step or something, just let me know and I'll, I'll be happy to help y'all out. I mean, I got the setup. Mine's working. So it's not really hard. But here's the next step. Give me a like and comment if you if you like the stuff I'm giving out. Subscribe. Thank you.